What's up, YouTube? My name's Rob, and I'm back for yet another reaction video. Now, this time around, I'm going back to a rapper I checked out my last wave of videos. Checking out the rapper Getz, and this is Getz All Black Winter. Now, in my last wave of videos that I put out, I checked out the song Getz Karma, and I'm going to put a link to that re reaction video down in the description of this video. But um, after I go and react to this video right here, this song right here, I'm going to basically make a lot of comments about that what I said on that video and basically transition it back to this one right here so I'm gonna explain that towards the end but um or, or after I react to this one video right here this one song right here but just to be clear there are some things I need to clear up and just clarify with the comment section of that video and I just want to basically just talk about that after afterwards so really quick before i jump into this song right here get all black winter um this is one um youtuber that i want to give out an acknowledgement for having me check out this song and to that youtuber his name is ba -ba -ba, mr cyrus parsons again mr cyrus parsons the get cyrus parsons is the one who had requested that i check out gets all black winter so for that, I thank you, brother. Thank you for having me check out this video. I owe you, um, I owe you this right here. Um, and more importantly, if you haven't <laughs> subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to get more input from you and from now and for the future. So awesome. So that is that. I make sure I got you your shout out. And now, without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right into the reaction part of this, and then I'm gonna get to what I have to say about the whole situation with gets. All right. So kicking the sucker off in three. Two, one, click. Don't tell me prepare. I'm the one who gave P the career. None of you scared before we said my name. Okay, I'm leaving it there. I ain't gonna lie, this boy's a fool. He's come a long way from coins to notes. And little D keeps sending for deaths. Don't worry about that. I'll destroy them both. Blacks and every one of his boys involved. Nobody ain't gonna be avoiding blows when I let off. I'll lick P money's head off. I'm a seal with your killer with Kellogg's. I'll put Mac to sleep like I be the guy that he bought his bed off. His fans say I fell off. I wanna know what boat they're fresh off. I'm on this booted like Lennox. Coming at me with a Mexican bars. It's like trying to mix with one deck off. You must be well off your head. I'm 10 steps ahead of the rest. You'll get left when I went off. Don't say P's going in. He's just the guy that you expect less of. When I bar alarms, I set off. I told them I'm cold in a pole and froze them. I body could freeze a whole ocean. Stone cold, though I don't show no emotion. Only when I flow when I go in an opponent. A lot of MCs are a right arm cheese when it's dry. Overly potent. Peace spent all nine sending for me and the fans wanna know why no. Nobody smoke and a few of them are losing faith in GH, so I gotta remind them why I will humiliate and the MC can lie. But I reply to guys when I mic in my right, it's a nightmare for them. I'm on a pimp, so some night cares to them. Who's involved? Stand right so there with them. I ain't hearing men that. talk like I'm scared to send that's an insult. And I swear revenge, yeah, I've been low, but I ain't here again. Some say that I'm on best form ever. Others say that I'm right near my end. I'm like, yeah, year and year again. Literally, year and year again. They all compare me to somebody else, but I'm the only one you hear again. You're obsessed with fruit and veg. What the fuck? Could you do to get bad move? You can't sleep like I'm a move to bed. Hey, good. I ain't gonna lose my head. Is that true? I'd rather shoot instead. I'd say niggas out, take niggas out. Team on the MC won't win around. It's a pity. I wanna just see him stick around. No biggie. Money man silly. I'm chilly. Gonna really tell him if he wants beef, kill a cow. You should know P. I'm a never cook in the bed flows. P. Hit him with the syllables. I'm OE. In fact, let me kill him with a slow me. This must be a joke. I feel like I'm on play by fame. This must be a hoax. Okay, you can come out now. Done it, I know. Ha ha ha, it's all fun I suppose Until I get someone's stomach involved I make him stop eating I don't care if the niggas got heart I make it stop beating Number one's the only number I know it's my spot I'm not leaving His fans say that I can't come back My fans are like Please make them stop speaking So I retaliate properly Peace party can't eradicate poverty Money my ass. Where's all this money I ask? Man I got more money by far In fact peace the only money I par Money comes and goes What makes you think this money might last? I get rid of money quite fast Put the rhythm on Some say peace gonna kill me Cause I don't write no singing longs Fuck them lullaby boss And if this money guy's hard Then pigs fly and butterflies bar Me and this boy ain't veterans I don't roll with money I like card <laughs> Okay I told you <laughs> okay. All right. Now, I wish I could see him actually be in the booth. I don't know if he has a fire in the booth. If he does, let me know. Because I know I heard like maybe one or two spots in there where it seemed like there's no way anybody could have humanly possible have went from one thing to the next thing without like a studio jump cut help or software to jump one um 
word to the next word or one verse to the next verse. So he seemed like, I think I heard maybe like one or two. I think most of it was him. I think I heard like maybe one or two cuts where he was going into like a fast rap or fast tangent. It was like, duh, 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 right? And then it went into something else a little too quickly. And it was like, okay, so he had wrapped out a phrase and then he had wrapped out another phrase and then some engineer or um, somebody in the booth had combined them after the fact. It didn't seem like all of it was like a full fluent flow percent per, per se. There, and it did feel like it, but there were like maybe just like one or two, and this is like, like a minor nitpick, not a major nitpick at all. A minor nitpick, just um, just, just to point that out, I wish I could really just see him like rap out live, see him in person. But I get why I saw some people in the last co um, comment section of um, Gets Karma, why they said, look, listening to this guy, like listening to like the lyric videos, because I always try to like have, when it's just like the, just the um, lyricist himself, I always at least try to have like the lyrics on screen, just so I'm following it, following it a lot better than I am just like just trying to listen to it. Just so I'm not just sitting here like this, like I was. But for a two minute forty one, uh, for a two minute forty one second video, I said, yeah, I can go ahead and just like try to listen, just to make sure I try to get as much as I can. And I got some um, clever. I caught the um, clever catchphrases that he had up in there. Caught clever um, lines that he had in there. I was like, okay, cool. He liked the serial killer thing in the killer. I'm like, oh my god, this boy. But yeah. So anyway, um, yeah. So we go into it, and I just I'm making sure I know I'm here and make sure that I pick it up. But one of the things that was said on the last video for Gets Karma was that. Because I had, I did uh, put the lyrics up on the screen for that. I did manage to find a lyric video for the song Guess Karma instead of just um, just the picture up there. And one of the people in the comment section that they actually said was, look, listening to, um, looking at the lyrics while you're trying to follow it is like basically trying to read about a crime report after the fact. You basically rob yourself of all the emotion that goes along with it. And yet is really stranding himself to put himself his heart his soul into what he's flowing out and that's basically his strength so you're alienating yourself from his strength and is working against you this is something that was said on the comment section i'm going to go through all the comments right now which is what i was basically kind of hinting at when i introduced this video and opened it up um but yeah this is one of the things that was said i was isolating myself from his greatest skill getting to getting you the, the listener to visualize what he's saying and visualize what he's really taking in. Um, I agree with that maybe 50% uh, percent now. I can I kind of can see what you're saying. Um, it's a real experience when you're just focusing on what he's saying or just focusing on him himself and how he's putting himself into it. But at the same time, for me, there is, in part, is somewhat of a language barrier where I'm trying to cut through his accent a little bit. I have a different accent, so I'm not totally attuned to listening for it. And this kind of happens for me on a minor level, but in those cases, I don't totally understand all of what he's saying. And then if I'm not totally understanding what he's saying, then I miss a lot of clever dialogue. And it's like, you know what? It's a 50-50. Either you cut yourself from the actual thing of what he's saying, the actual words of what he's saying, or you cut yourself from the emotion that he's trying to throw into what he's saying, you know? So you can, for, so for me, it's like a 50-50 on what I choose to pick. Um, but in the bottom line, I'm basically told that his better strength is the emotion that he's trying to put into it. So, yeah, with that being said, that's, pretty, I guess, going to be the best segue I'm going to get into what I'm going to do now. I'm going to now look at the comment section of my reaction video that I did in my last wave for Gets and on the song Gets Karma. So, I'm going to pull that up really quick, starting this sucker off in three, two, one, and go. Oh, my bad. All right. Three two one and go okay so right now here we are um we're looking at the comment section of gets karma and this is a video i put out now august 24th august 24th 2017 all right so that's just phenomenal how long it's been around like wow all right so it's been out for wow a couple months almost six wow okay so it's been out for a while now and i'm just going to go through these comments again they're in no particular order that I'm gonna just hit them, but I'm just gonna basically just react to them and how they coming up. So this first comment right here, I'm gonna read it just in case it's small for whatever reason on your screen. 
by a guy named Graham Kelly. Graham Kelly says, personally, I don't agree with this theme. It basically gets uh, talking us through how he's feeling about how he, I'm sorry. Personally, I don't agree with this theme. It's basically gets talking us through how he follows a guy and kills him. Whether it's real or not, who knows. But as a piece of music, I think it's pure genius. It pulls you in and you can visualize everything he's saying. I think he's the... Uh, his delivery was perfect and I like it a lot. I just love all kind of music, even though I'm just a normal guy. I listen to a fair amount of aggressive rap and typically don't mind hearing them talk about drugs, gun, calling yourself the n-word, etc. Fair play to play, uh, fair play to people that simply don't want to hear that stuff. But it is what it is, and rappers don't often rap about flowers and love, etc. Now, just a quick comment to that. In my response to that video, I was basically saying, look, this was really aggressive and, and what he was basically going through. And a big thing, it had gunshots and all over the place. It had screams of like murders and death cries and all this. And I said, well, you know what? It had a point to it. And the point was that it had this effect of um, an emotional effect to it. That's what I basically said. It had an emotional effect to make you just feel cold as you're listening to it. It basically make you give, to, give you this sense of just what he was at so you can better visualize it right and basically what I was trying to say is it's trying to give you this feeling of isolation this feeling of estrangement and that was basically the are in part the end goal and I basically piggybacked that to say his message was not to I guess be glorified about street life or thug life right now um, a really big thing that I need to go ahead and say with this and I'm actually gonna cut this off really quick Okay, now, a really big thing that I'm going to go ahead and say with this video, just in general, I had made a misdiagnosis with that. When And it kind of haunted me now, just in terms of how it ended up and just in terms of how it worked out. I say, I can say that I gave myself a misdiagnosis of what the situation was because that's not actually what the situation was or what... Um, I should have been focused on, as people have been basically telling me now in the comment section. What people basically were telling me was, look, um, Getz, like I, like I was saying before, Getz is more focused on giving you, getting you to feel the emotional grip of what he's trying to display and what he's trying to take you on. So what Getz is more of a ride like a roller coaster ride or something like that, than it is supposed to be this poetic um, type of message that's just like, just um, gets you to think in terms of meter or a rap structure or anything like that. It's not how he approaches it, it's not how he um, goes into his raps or how he goes into his art. It's supposed, his brilliance is supposed to be in how it touches you and how it um, brings you into his world. And that's basically his strength. And I guess people were, a, a small argument that was kind of going along in the comment section of the channel, and I was going to try to pull up more of it, was that when you um, have somebody like this, it's important that you be cognizant of that rather than focusing on the lyric structure and all the other English standard, uh, I, want to, I want to say ELA stuff that goes along with rap, and not to get caught up in that, because... This person's strength is their emotion and their ability to put their emotion in their words and get you to feel their emotion through their performance. That is their strength. To do that otherwise, to do the other thing that I mentioned, to just look at the lyrics and focus on how the lyrics lead to a larger idea and how the lyrics builds on this other idea and this other idea and this other idea. Basically the format and how I review my other reactors isn't the strongest way for me to go about Re, um, reacting and critiquing this guy because I am a sh basically separating myself from this guy's strength and basically that's something I wanted to just bring up really quick and basically I guess sort of apologize for uh, because I said that and I said look one, and one thing what I said with that was with the gunshots and the screams and all that it was like a really a lot and I said you know what at the end of it all I guess he basically confessed the murder and I guess you know what I guess that's probably going to be the limit for me, just in terms of what it is. And then people were like, well, no, man. Um, 
it shouldn't matter because and then big no I'm sorry people were saying well no man the gunshots the screams and all that you had put so much emphasis on your view on how he saw those screams to go down how he wanted those screams to happen that you instead um you put so much emphasis on that that you allowed so much of your thoughts and your views on that to dictate how you view the whole song but in the reality is Getz didn't even intend for the gunshots and the screams to even be in the video. That was probably a sound engineer or a DJ or a mixer or somebody on the track that did that after the fact. So you can't put your emphasis just on the music itself. Again, your emphasis needs to be on the rapper and how they convey what they're trying to say and how they convey their emotion. All right? So, as a result, I ended up coming out with this false diagnosis to say Getz had intentionally put this into the song and had intentionally put... Um, put these elements in the song, the gunshots, the excessive um, screams of sounds of signs of murder into the song when in reality it wasn't Getz at all, this was done by somebody else with somebody else's vision to try to amp it up, right? So with that in mind, I put in a false diagnosis for that video just in terms of how I was looking at it and I just kind of want to just take it back because it kind of haunted me about it where people were basically calling me out on it like, no dude, I hear what you're saying but that's not what this guy was really going for and again, it's just making me look at how I critique the rappers I critique and why I critique what I critique about the rappers I have to kind of reevaluate that a little bit and first kind of reevaluate my method and just first ask well what is this rapper's strength and from there then try to go out you know because thus far um i've had other rappers that have been really good at imagery but their imagery has also been tied with their poetic ability so and i don't just say that mean that in their sense of their rapping i mean that in their poetic ability in terms of how they structure verses and how the uh, verses of their rap and how they um, structure it to jive with certain ideas and how they build this what I call a rap house basically of ideas together um so first I need to step back and say well okay that's obviously not Yet's method when he goes and makes these songs and I need to just take it in for what it is as opposed to try to project something else onto it that's not totally there and that's kind of just something I need to just work on with myself and just with these videos in general as I move forward. So, um, with that being said, I wanted to go ahead and check out um, just more of the comment section of this. But now my computer's acting up so I can't e even pull up the rest of the, um, the freaking comment section on this, which I'm kind of annoyed about. I shouldn't have paused it. I should have just kept going. But anyway, um, there was a small argument that went on to this um, page that basically where people were kind of these two YouTubers were basically like well um does the song itself and this is going back to Gets Karma does the song itself have or need to have a deeper message or does the song itself just work as a song itself can you just take it in like you would a horror movie or something like that and just take it in as the experience maybe that's the genius of it and whatever side you of this you fall onto it's just it's still interesting just to see how people appreciate this guy whether you appreciate him as not aiming to go for a, a really deep message or do you see that his deep message is the actual experience itself people still appreciate him and that's kind of a cool thing to know that you appeal to many more audiences than you intend to appeal to and I guess that's what um, gets probably attributes his fame to him. Um, if you have any other thoughts to how he gets got famous or why you like gets, please let me know in the comment section below. I love to hear about it. But yeah, it's just a really interesting about the uh, interesting thing about this guy, and I just wanted to kind of point that out and just kind of go over it with this song before I did any of his other stuff. So yeah, gets gets all black winter. Gets all black winter. So I'm gonna give a shout out one more time to the guy who had requested that I check out this video. Again, that guy's name is Cyrus. Parsons. Again, his name is Cyrus Parsons. I thank you for checking out. Um, thank you for having me check out this video. I really appreciate it. And my man, if you know any more um, get songs, good get songs that are deep or I guess not deep or whatever, let me know. I'd love to check them out and tell me really what you appreciate about gets and why you like them the most. Is it just a sound? Is it his passion? What is it about gets? That goes for everybody. What is it about gets that you like? and that you want me to see about it. and i'll just try to see it from your point of view rather than project my own you know
I gotta get better at that, I guess. So, this has been my reaction, y'all. Thank you for checking out this video, and please always like, share, and subscribe for more. I love you all. Thank you. Peace. Bye-bye.